dear students welcome to today's live stream first of all uh, the usual routine are you all able to hear me tell me so you are able to hear my voice is audible once you confirm this we'll start the session so today's course is high yield biochemistry mcq we will do some important mcqs so most of the mcqs i have selected easy mcqs i don't want to frighten any of you most mcqs will be easy only right i'm audible right so let's begin the first question which of the following is the probe used in western blot western blot which probe is used tell me so in the blotting techniques you have various uh, plottings right southern western northern tanya gowda thank you for confirming please answer so answer me so what is the nature of the probe used in western blot tell me tell me which which probe is used out of the following any idea what is southern blot southern blot is for reduction of dna western is for reduction of protein northern is for reduction of rna excellent tanya gowda excellent so for detection of dna rna and all you will use oligonucleotide probes right so you are going to use oligonucleotide probes for the detection of proteins what will you use so you have to use antibody probes so you are going to use antibodies so obviously it will be for proteins so western blot is based on the antigen antibody interaction so it's based on what antigen antibody interaction so proteins will act as antigen right so we are going to add antibodies so the antibodies will be like primary antibodies and secondary antibodies so primary antibody means it will be against the target protein for example if you want to detect ubiquitin so it will be raised against it will be a ubiquitin antibody in a particular species for example that antibody may be raised in the uh, mouse right shaik chatrabarti welcome you are correct so now we in the secondary antibody will be anti mouse igg antibody so it will be tagged so most of the time it will be tagged so it will be tagged with horse radis peroxidase hrp tagged antibodies will be used hrp is a enzyme all of the following amino acids are excreted in cystinuria except so cystinuria is an inborn error of metabolism due to dibasic amino acid transporter what is the name of the transporter dibasic amino acid transporter so in this disorder what are all the amino acids which are excreted parthipan sing stain
राइट सो द अमीनो एसिड्स एक्सक्रीटेड कैन बी रिमेंबर्ड एज कोला सी ओ एल ए राइट सो द सिस्टीन सिस्टाइन विल एक्चुअली फॉर्म स्टोन्स सिस्टाइन एक्चुअली विल फॉर्म स्टोन्स ओके इट विल बी सिस्टीन व्हिच विल बी एक्सक्रीटेड बट two molecules of cysteine that will combine to form cysteine stones right excellent excellent parthiban nice nice everyone right so cola amino acid cysteine arnithine lysine arginine so these are the di basic amino acids which are excreted in cystinuria so now tell me some let me ask some question swimming pool order is found in which urea so which in bone error of metabolism can you tell me swimming pool order so let me write some order cabbage order mousy order tell me tell me is she order ridhar vasudevan arginine will be excreted okay hmm. so parthiban you are saying gtp hydrolase so gtp hydrolase is involved in uh, tetrahydrobiopterin synthesis so that is segawa syndrome what you are talking is segawa syndrome what about swimming pool order of urine so i am asking about the smell so mousy order it, it seems everyone is clear so that is phenyl ketonuria so there is no doubt in that what about swimming pool order it's a unique disorder the name is nick so this is hawkinsinuria hawkinsinuria okay you will be able to remember right here after it will be Hodgkin's urea. Cabbage order is seen in permethrin anemia or tyrosine anemia. As far as remember, I think it is tyrosine anemia. Fishy order that will be seen in trimethylaminuria. Trimethylaminuria. Okay. Clear? Hmm. So try to remember these disorders. So what Parthiban was saying is. gtp cyclo that is there's another thing cyclo uh, enzyme so that will be segawa syndrome so segawa syndrome is due to tetrahydrobiopterin synthesis thp synthesis effect right look at the clinical case history and try to answer the questions a 24 year old man presented with history of generalized weakness okay then generalized weakness and lethargy for past few years history of pain and discomfort in right hypochondrium on and off his abdomen revealed gallstones blood report shows hemoglobin 8 gram percentage total bilirubin 4.2 direct bilirubin 1.6 indirect bilirubin 3.6 asthmatic fragility of rbc increased the peripheral blood film so following blood smear represented below so this is the blood smear 
8th which of the following mutation does not produce this condition is your answer angairin ambika geeta nice attempt is your answer angairin is your answer spectrin is your answer mantu it's your answer beta group so excellent excellent Arni arnima mitra ambika geeta parthiban you are all answering correctly right so what is this condition this is case of hereditary spherocytosis now tell me in hereditary spherocytosis if we remove spleen which vaccine we have to give subhas karmakar excellent harshit harshit so hereditary spherocytosis is due to ankerin okay the most common cause of hereditary spherocytosis is ankerin okay so don't go for ankerin bantu also will cause hmm? so look at this beta globin so beta globin is in the hemoglobin right hmm? beta globin is the hemoglobin so beta globin defect will lead to what it will lead to thalassemia sickle cell anemia all these thing right so the qualitative defect and the quantitative defect can happen hi seshoko balan good evening qualitative defect of beta globin will lead to uh, diseases like sickle cell anemia quantitative will lead to disorders like thalassemia right so in hereditary spherocytosis we re remove the spleen okay so splenectomy is done so as all of you are correctly saying who are all saying arnima mitra ambika geeta good so both of you are saying correctly na we have to give uh, vaccine against capsulated pathogens clear so especially pneumococcal vaccine needs to be given for anyone who is splenectomized are people with uh, sickle cell anemia so in sickle cell anemia there is auto splenectomy right so there is a auto splenectomy and in old age so in old age also you have to give look at this easy question only defect in which of the following produces the morphology marked by red arrow so focus on the red arrow so so this is a rbc smear let me tell you this is a rbc smear i don't want to confuse you guys what is this this is lcat this is known as mtp this is known as ctp so what is the role of each and everything let me begin with this neman pick c1 like protein it is involved in the absorption of cholesterol there is a drug called ezetimibe there is a drug called ezetimibe which will inhibit this neman pick c1 like protein so lcat defect leads to what is the name of the syndrome lcat defect there are two things complete deficiency and partial deficiency what is the name of the disease in the which there is complete lcat deficiency who is going to tell hmm? norums disease right norums disease right cholesterol cholesterol ester transfer protein so it's involved in the transfer of what it's going to involve in the transfer of exchange it's actually exchanging cholesterol ester and triglycerides okay so initially they were developing a drug inhibitor of ctp it failed now they are developing right so 
now come to the answer so all of you have answered correctly it is microsomal triglyceride transfer protein mtp not zellweger arnima zellweger is due to what zellweger is absence of peroxisomes okay that is a peroxisomal biogenesis disorder so let me tell you what will be the clinical features in peroxisomal biogenesis clinical not clinical biochemical features so in the question you will be given like this decreased plasmalogen right altered bile salt pattern bile acid pattern then then what hmm? increased very long chain fatty acids vlcl so this is in indicative of your peroxisomal biogenesis what is this microsomal triglyceride transfer protein so this is involved in the transfer of triglycerides to apo b containing lipoprotein so apo b containing lipoproteins are what b48 b100 so it is chylomicron and vldl so the defect in mtp leads to absence of chylomicron and vldl so these are the beta lipoproteins right so these beta lipoproteins are not there chylomicron is not going to move so it is it is going to stay in the place wherever it was so during electrophoresis chylomicron is not going to move vldl you know it's a in the beta pre, pre beta regions right so so this is known as a beta lipoproteinemia this is why this is known as a beta lipoproteinemia okay clear right try to match the following try to match the column a and the column b Parkinson's lymphoma, mantle tumor, marginal tumor, follicular tumor. Right. Let's see who are all going to give the answer correctly. Amulya, Arunima, Ambika, Seshakobalan, Sridhar Vasudevan, Bhargavi Prithvi, Arshid, Subhash Karmakar, Ravinder. Parthiban, Tanya, everyone, answer. Okay. The abstract word, Samulya, Ketsuka, Tenso, nice. Why? Just this one. See, bar kit. So I still remember during my PG preparation, the teacher was telling bar kit. That is. 8 remember bar kit 8 so it's like a is 814 so a3 look at this there is only a3 that's why the match the following questions are very easy hmm? just to buy if you know just one thing right in the exam this may not be so they will carefully design the question okay so at least two questions it should be confused but match the following questions are like easiest question so whenever match the following questions are there it is like a cakewalk for you okay simple right hmm? just by yes yeah, yeah, abstract words good right just by seeing one one thing which is you are sure you should be sure of, about that you have to select that right next is also easy question epsidin decreases iron absorption by inhibition of which of the following <laughs> Amulya, good. Hmm? Tell me. So, hepcidin, you know, the, this is causing mucosal block. Hepcidin is produced by liver and it inhibits the intestinal iron absorption. Abstract words Ambika Kita. Hmm? 
கெட்சுகா சுஷ்மர டி சஹில்கான் அமுல்யா சேஷா அருணிமா மித்ரா ஸோ பீப்புள் மே திங்க் தட் வெப்சிடின் இஸ் கோயிங் டு இன்னிபிட் டிஎம்டி தேட்ஸ் ஹவு இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு இன்னிபிட் ஐரன் நோ இட்ஸ் நாட் தேட் கேஸ் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் யூனோ இட்ஸ் த இன்டஸ்டைனல் செல்ஸ் DMT is there. Here you will have ferroportin. This is in the basolateral side. Basolateral side. Right? This is the luminal side. so epsidin is produced from the liver and it is in the blood circulation right so it should actually reach this side how how will it reach this side this is clear this is the intestinal lumen right hmm? so to reach here it has to enter the uh, cell cell and all are you understanding my point so epsidin is in the blood stream and it will reach first here this side and it inhibits ferroportin not dmt so whatever the iron which is inside right whatever iron which is inside it will be sloughed off when the intestinal epithelial cell sloughs off so, you know our intestinal epithelium it's continuously regenerated right replaced hmm? so that is the answer okay so nice nice sundar ji arnima tesha amulya sahilgan everyone you all give the correct answer good next some thought question just to think which of the following lipid lacks fatty acids in its structure tell me among the following which will not have fatty acids Mm-hmm. Let's see how people are answering. Okay. Ambika is thinking about wax. Sahil is also thinking it is wax. So let me tell you what is wax. Wax is nothing but long chain alcohol plus fatty acid. Okay. So waxes are simple lipids. which are esters of fatty acid and long chain alcohol so they will have fatty acid okay so like myristic acid some thing will be there in the wax honey bee i think honey bee wax it contain myristic acid if i remember correctly okay clear okay so that is one so uh, deena is saying it is uh, a Okay, Dina, what is ceramide? Ceramide is sphingosin plus fatty acid. Clear? Ceramide is sphingosin plus fatty acid. So that is ceramide. So fatty acid is there. Triglyceride is very, very simple. I was drawing it, the structure, right? Ceramide is sphingosin plus fatty acid. okay so what is triglycerides r1 r2 r3 ambiga is this clear for you If there is any doubt feel free to ask so triglyceride is glycerol esterified to three same are different fatty acids obviously triglyceride will have fatty acid for sure right so what will be the answer 
answer would be obviously cholesterol. Cholesterol is a 27 carbon with CPP ring. Cholesterol ester will have fatty acid, not cholesterol. Okay, so guys, hmm, the answer is cholesterol. Yes, right. So, are you all aware of our Telegram group? So, are you all part of Telegram group? So, I highly recommend you to join our Telegram group that is Biochemistry with Karthi. So, all of you feel free to join the Telegram group once your juniors come. So, now first years are about to come right so i request all of you to re recommend this group to your juniors so that is this is the critical time so now if you tell them to study right so they will study so this is the time so let the first year mbbs students come i want all of you to help them with this right answer this question defect in which of the following gene causes X-linked SCID? What is SCID? Severe Combined Immunodeficiency Disorder. That means both T and B cell function will be gone. Deficiency. So it's a syndrome, it's caused by many, many defects like adenosine deaminase defect, purine nucleoside phosphorylase defect. So many de defect, defect in many enzymes will lead to SCID. In NCRT book, you might have studied bubble boy syndrome, all these things. So all the causes of SCID, they are autosomally recessive inherited, except, except which one? What is this? This is interleukin 2 receptor gamma so this is a high affinity receptor okay interleukin receptor gamma okay so il2 receptor gamma defect is the one which is excellent clear excellent excellent guys excellent arnima deshapopalan dina ambiga so you gave the answer correctly on time this is a clinical question so i have put some clinical questions also this time so that i want you to know this which of the following is used in the treatment of vitamin d toxicity okay we have people can answer clinical questions also correctly so usually my classes mainly first year mbbs students will come so this time i think others are also here nice so for vitamin d toxicity what can you give you can give steroids so what is which is the steroid among these so steroid can give dexamethasone okay so dexamethasone is given in vitamin d toxicity right another clinical based question only so today i took a lot of hematology questions you suspect iron deficiency anemia in a 46 year old lady presenting with pallor which blood investigation result is not consistent with your provisional diagnosis they are asking all of the following are seen in iron deficiency anemia except that is what indirectly they are asking right so which is not seen in iron deficiency anemia steroid helps in the excretion of calcium that's what i remember dina i think that is the answer okay in vitamin d toxicity what happens there is hypercalcemia right I think steroid helps in the excretion of either calcium or phosphate. So that is how steroids help. Okay. Kesha Kopalan, 
revise your answer amulya you also revise your answer uh, sundar ji you have also revise your answer if iron is not there how can the transferrin be over saturated right so transferrin is usually one third saturated right transferrin is usually one third saturated in iron deficiency anemia what will happen hmm? the saturation will go hmm? more also which will increase ti iron binding capacity will increase clear so it is iron binding capacity not saturation okay sesha gopalan hmm? sandeep senapati is saying decrease level of hemoglobin so in iron deficiency anemia obviously decrease level of hemoglobin will be there right okay let me tell you what is heme then you will that's why you have to know the basics once you know the basics everything will be simple so what is heme is it is iron plus protoporphyrin so in iron deficiency anemia iron is not available so which will increase protoporphyrin will increase is this clear so increased pre protoporphyrin in rbc right so otherwise what is the thing so otherwise you won't have uh, protoporphyrin free so protoporphyrin is usually bound to iron to produce heme so in hemoglobin that is the, how it should exist right so increased should be there so decreased is contradictory right okay it should be increased red cell protoporphyrin right okay so i hope you got this now this is the easiest question mm -hmm. so answer this question so the phases of cell cycle what is the g stands for in cell cycle what is this g g stands for what tell me g stands for gap right g stands for gap so then when you have space then you will have a gap right hmm? then you will have g2 so that means here you will have g1 phase g1 yes g2 m then it depends whether g0 phase is there or not right excellent shreya gambir so g for cap right so which is g1 and s transition who is going to regulate g1 s transition is regulated by rp gene right so rp gene it regulates the g1 to s transition clear that checkpoint g1 s checkpoint is controlled by your rb gene right p53 actually control at multiple level okay you cannot just say that it control just g2m checkpoint control multiple levels also okay right so i don't want to insult your uh, knowledge by just putting this question this is a easy question right so you all know guthrie test is used for phenyl ketonuria okay so you guys are all small sorry smart huh. now answer this one i should give you some challenging questions like this okay so that's why g0 because g0 is a variable phase right so some cells g0 can be there it cannot be there some cells they will just go fast fast na g i think g1 is also variable yeah g0 g1 both are variable others are like fixed timings are there 
So let us see. Smart people answer this one. Besides present in nucleic acids, primidines are also found in. Answer. Where do you find pyrimidine? See, theophylline, theobromine, what are these? These are methyl xanthine. These are methyl xanthines. What are xanthines? Xanthines are furin, right? Obviously. Flavin mononucleotide, what? Flavin, add its, what is that? It has adenine. Adenine is a purine. Okay. Who are all saying C? Treya, Ambika. Hmm? Plain mononucleotide contains what? It contains adenine. Adenine is a purine. What is thiamine? Thiamine is a vitamin B1. This has a pyrimidine ring also and it has sulfur also. Right? The answer is vitamin B1. Sundarji Balu, he gave the correct answer. So answer this. So in which disease you have increased excretion of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid indole ring is present in which amino acid is present in tryptophan 60 milligram of tryptophan is equal to 1 milligram of niacin so in carcinide syndrome all the tryptophan is converted into 5 hydroxy tryptamine okay so serotonin so tryptophan to niacin conversion gets affected so carcinide syndrome it leads to features of pellagra okay pellagra like features are seen in carcinide right so guys i suggest you to go for the iconic subscription of neat pg so where you get both benefits of an academy as well as preplader so whoever has not taken plus subscription consider this so attend all our free classes and don't forget to join my telegram group and an academy neat pg telegram group so join our telegram group tell your friends you add your friends to the telegram group so that you will get notified whenever i take free classes okay so i take special classes in an academy also so there also you will be able to come and join so thank you everyone so today i uh, got to meet so many new students okay. see you all see you in the next special class so if you have doubt feel free to ask in the telegram group right see you bye